All right, thanks for joining us for another video on forecasting methods. In this video, we're going to talk about the naive method of forecasting. And kind of like the name suggests, this method of forecasting, um, while it's useful in some situations, in other situations, uh, we're going to see some bigger errors. And we'll, we'll actually see that today. So what we've got here in this spreadsheet is we've got um, we've got some data from a, a very new uh, product line, and, uh, and and we've got just one store that's selling this product line here, and uh, and we've got some real data. So as we look at the data, we'll say, okay, um, the naive approach of forecasting, again, if, if we go back to our, um, our original uh, forecasting methods uh, video overview, is where we take simply the previous period and we forecast and say, okay, next period we're going to do the exact same. And so um, what that equation would look like here is that we would take this period and we would say, okay, our forecast is going to equal the previous period. Now, over here in column D, what I've got is I've got a percent difference. And you can see the function here that I've got. And uh, basically what it says is that if um, if the forecast is uh, less than the um, than the actual sales that we that we see in that time period, then that number is going to be a positive number. So it's going to say, okay, our actuals were actually greater than what we forecasted. And uh, and if it's the other way around, of course, we'll see a negative. And so let's take a look at the naive approach of forecasting. We take the uh, the current period and we'd say this period, our forecast is going to be equal to the last period, and then we'll go through. And, uh, and we'll drag this down here in just a minute. So our very first period that we look at, we say, okay, well, we're within a 10% difference, and it was kind of in the right direction, right? So uh, sales were going in a good direction. Um, they were a little bit better than we had. That might present maybe some inventory issues uh, with, with us um, under uh, forecasting what we think is going to be sold in this, in this upcoming period. So let's take a look at how the naive forecast would work if we were to use the naive forecast through all the periods um, for this three and a half year time period that we've got. And so we'll go ahead and we'll just drag this down through the three and a half uh, year time period. And we'll take a look at a couple of these things. So we start looking at it and we say, okay, wow, we're always overperforming until we get maybe over here to, you know, period number uh, eight. And, uh, and then we start to underperform. Um, and so we look at it, and maybe one of the first things that we notice is we say, okay, we've got this positive performance that's more than uh, than what we expected from the previous period, and then we've got a negative performance, then we go back into a positive performance, and then we've got three periods of a negative or four periods of negative performance, and we continue to see that same cycle. So one of the things that might happen is we might look at that and say, wow, this is, uh, this is actually a pretty strong seasonal trend that we've got here. Um, and a couple of these periods, I mean, they're pretty close. You know, we've got a 5% difference between uh, what our naive forecast said and what we actually did. And in this one, you know, you may have a sales manager that says, hey, th that's great. You know, we underestimated um, what we're going to sell. And so we always like to do that. We always like to under promise and over deliver, right? Um, but the problem is when we get into maybe some of these inventory issues, anytime that we start to see big difference or a negative difference, then we start to find ourselves in a rough situation. Right. If we're, um, if we're really, really under forecasting, maybe we were only able to sell 41 percent more because that's all the inventory that we had available on the shelves. Maybe we could have sold a lot more as a company if we would have been able to accurately uh, forecast what was happening. And so if we look at this naive approach, we can see that there were big, big fluctuations. We had, you know, 41 percent, negative 41 percent. We come down and we see a 66 percent. Uh, 73 percent, 58 percent, you know, these these 40 percent ones here as well. And then, I mean, clear up here, we've got an 80 per 87 percent difference on one of these periods. So this forecasting method, if we look at this just by itself, sometimes this isn't the best um, the best option for us. And so um, there there may be some situations where naive forecasts are uh, are something that we that we want to certainly look at. Um, I, I found this quite a bit with individual salespeople when they forecast uh, what. Um, what they think that they can do next month. A lot of them forecast simply what they did in the previous month. I think I can hit that exact same number. And so we tend to see those types of forecasts that, that come over from those salespeople. So again, thanks for tuning in. In, uh, in our other videos, we'll talk about the other methods of forecasting. But uh, yeah, if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments section below. Thank you.